Yeshayahu, Isaiah 10. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that write grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob at the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation, and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help, and where will ye leave your glory? Without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. O Asher, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Howbeit, he means not so, neither does his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he says, Are not my princes altogether kings? Is not Kalno as Karkamish? Is not Hamath as Arpad? Is not Shomoron as Damascus? As my hand has found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them of Yerushalayim and of Shomoron, shall I not, as I have done unto Shomoron and her idols, so do to Yerushalayim and her idols? Wherefore it shall come to pass that when Adonai has performed at his whole work upon Mount Sion and on Yerushalayim, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Ashur and the glory of his high looks. For he says, by the strength of my hand I have done it. And by my wisdom, for I am prudent. And I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures. And I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And my hand has found as a nest the riches of the people. And as one gathers eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing, or opened the mouth, or peeped. Shall the axe boast itself against him that hews therewith? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shakes it? As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift at it up? Or as if the staff should lift up itself? as if it were no wood. Therefore shall Adonai Yahuwah Sevaot send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning fire. Rather, he shall kindle a, bur a burning like the burning of a fire. And the light of Yashadael shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame. <laughs> and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day, and shall consume the glory of his forest. And of his fruitful field both soul and body, and they shall be as when a standard-bearer faints. 
and the rest of the trees of his forest shall be few, that a child may write them. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Yashadael, and such as are escaped of the house of Yaakov, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahuwah, the Holy One of Yashadael, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Yaakov, unto El Gibor. For though your people Yashadael be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. For Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth, O my people that dwell in Sayan, be not afraid of Ash Shur. He shall smite you with a rod, and shall lift up his staff against you, after the manner of Mitzrayim. For yet a little while, and the indignation shall cease, and my anger in their destruction. And Yahuwah Sevaoth shall stir up a scourge for him, according to the slaughter of Midian, at the rock of Orev, and as his rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift up, rather lift it up after the manner of Mitzrayim. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. He is come to Ayath. He is passed to Migran. At Mikmash he has laid up his carriages. They are gone over the passage. They have taken up their lodging at Giva. Rama is afraid. Giva of Shaul is fled. Lift up your voice, O daughter of Galim. Cause it to be heard unto Laish, O poor Anathoth. Mad Manah is removed. The inhabitants of Gevim gather themselves to flee. As yet shall he remain at Nov that day. He shall shake his hand against the mount of the daughter of Sion, the hill of Yerushalayim. Behold, Adonai Yahuwah Savaoth shall lop the bow with terror. And the high ones of stature shall be hewn down, and the haughty shall be humbled. And he shall cut down the thickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one.